Hey, six now, the political impeachment of Benjamin Netanyahu. The Israeli prime minister is facing a partisan attack, not unlike his friend in the White House. The voters in Israel will have a say in this, which, like President Trump, Netanyahu labels as a witch hunt. And if you think the political landscape is rough and partisan here in this country, then have a look at Israeli politics. Unlike President Trump, Netanyahu, in this case, could go to jail. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, the charges in this case uh, on paper sound vaguely familiar. Uh, it's almost as if we've been talking about them the past couple of weeks uh, with the gentleman in the White House. They're similar what Netanyahu is facing in Israel, bribery, breach of trust. Let's face it, the political opposition has had a target on Benjamin Netanyahu's back for many, many years now, and this is their avenue, is it not? Well, if you can't get them out of office at the ballot box, do it through an extra lane, not unlike what's going on in the House of Representatives today. Only this time, they're doing it during the election period, meaning the coalition building has just ground to a halt, meaning nobody's going to be prime minister at this point unless there's a miracle in the next 21 days, Graham. That's the time the president, President Rivlin, gave the Knesset, which is the parliament, time to come up with a new plan for a new prime minister with a new coalition. And that has about zero chance of happening once this indictment was handed down yesterday. So effectively, the opposition party, uh, and we'll consider the AG in this process, the opposition party, if you will, is trying to force Netanyahu out. They're trying to force him to resign. And uh, you know about this man. He's not going to resign. But let's look at one of the charges. I guess the most serious charge against him is this uh, so-called uh, uh, influence on the telecom uh, company. Here's another facet of Israeli life that you know very, very well. Uh, and that is the media in Israel is highly, highly liberal and hates Benjamin Netanyahu probably more so than our domestic media hates Donald Trump. You actually might be right. I know uh, at their headquarters uh, in Tel Aviv where the studio broadcasts from because I've been in that studio and I've been on television in Israel. I can tell you that the press is part of the gang fighting that goes on in politics. And if you think our press is volatile and opinionated and involved, you ain't seen nothing till you've been to Israel. That is democracy with the gloves off. So how do you see this thing playing out? Number one, on the one hand, we have the Israeli government, the, uh, the, the parliament ground to a halt here. Nothing's going to get done. Why even vote? Why even have another round of elections? Because there's not going to be a leadership structure set up. And number two, this case is going to proceed. How do you see this playing out? Well, like you said, there's a number of charges. One is he took cigars. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Right. He took cigars and champagne as a bribe, uh, as if that's going to affect um, international policy of Israel. Uh, the biggest charge is he gave favored status to a network supposedly uh, in exchange for better coverage. They're going to have a hard time proving that. Meanwhile, as you said, Graham, very astutely, government is at a standstill. One side or another or a group has got to get to 61 seats, which is 50% plus one in their Knesset, to pick a prime minister. And unless and until that happens, Bibi Netanyahu, who will not resign, who does not have to resign, will remain caretaker prime minister in Israel. The earliest elections could be held, which is horrible for Israel, would be next March. Meanwhile, he stays in power. Under Israeli law, only a minister has to resign right. uh, after indictment, but not the prime minister. So Bibi will give up his extra seats in the other um, uh, portfolios that he was in charge of. He will stay as prime minister and the Knesset members for the next 20 days are gonna beat on each other with two by fours right. and are gonna come up with no coalition in my opinion. And that by the way, is inside information that I got from Israel last night. In the meantime, so that point, they'll give up and there will be a new election next 
March again, and BB refuses to step aside. And in the meantime, maybe uh, Benjamin Yahoo and, uh, and Donald Trump compare notes on what's happening to them because <laughs> eerily uh, similar and coinciding uh, virtually at the same time. Barry, thanks.